The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to sell ice to Eskimos in Alaska or uh, having a Long Island tea in Tallahassee. As long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got a little bit of a bounce, uh, kind of what we were talking about this week. Uh, I gave it kind of a 50-50 chance uh, that we just railed over or that we got a bounce. And if we got a bounce, it would be time to add a lot of short positions. Uh, I am uh, on that side of the fence today. So we'll see how the market closes. But uh, so far, volume poor. Uh, especially for the equities, a lot of volume early on in the uh, indexes. But we'll see if that uh, can hold up the rest of the day. Uh, good chance for uh, reversals before the end of the day or early on Monday. Options continue to be incredibly bearish, uh, but not pointing to anything other than down significantly. Uh, put the charts in the uh, newsletters our newsletter today but uh you know what eh, could it go higher it could but uh eh, it's hurricane season uh as far as all the things that i look at for big surprises in the market where you're going to lose a lot of money um so i've kind of thinking that uh this is probably not a bad idea uh to make sure that uh either you've bought some downside protection or that you ski-daddled out of the market. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, there are a lot of people are worrying about something. Uh, the biggest thing that I can tell you that uh, is uh, telling me that we've got a couple of problems, and I'm not exactly sure where they're at. Uh, the first one, of course, is gold uh, that's taken off. That should start telling you that there's something going on that we have not seen yet other than straight inflation. I think that's part of it, but I think there's something else. Uh, the other part is the bonds. The bonds went up right to resistance, gave it all up, back to 147.07, got to 146.76, which is kind of support. But over the next couple of days, if that bust 146.50, that suggests that we'll make a beeline to 138. Uh, so keep an eye on that. It's um, hadn't really broken down yet. But uh, when the options are telling me something, when the uh, bonds are telling me something, and when gold's telling me something, uh, everybody thinks that they know that something's going to happen. And generally, the people on the inside generally know. I don't know what it is. I can speculate. We talked about it earlier in the week about maybe uh, the Ever, Ever Grande deal. Uh, coming back now that the Germans are forcing it into bankruptcy. Uh, maybe that actually gets things going and along. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's always one of those things in bankruptcies like this with uh, huge amounts of money, absolute mountains amounts of money, uh, that some people uh, are going to be caught out. And uh, as uh, William Buffett uh, likes to say, uh, what is it about the, oh, everybody, uh, is out is, uh, what? Everybody's out there swimming without bathing suits until the tide goes out. Something like that. Anyway, there's naked people on the beach. That's what I remember about the story with Buffett. But, uh, yeah, um, you know, you can be out there swimming. When the tide goes out, you're going to, they're going to know you're naked. So, uh, yeah. I got all these naked people running around in my head. Okay, so what else do we have? That's kind of it, but we've got kind of a trifecta of something going on out here. I don't know what it is. I can speculate. 
a lot of times, I'd say more than half the time, it's nothing that someone has ever brought up. Uh, but uh, we continue to see uh, the Chinese and the uh, Chinese communist uh, government acting poorly. Uh, I don't know if that's going to do any good to tell them that they're not making good choices. But that's apparently the uh, foreign policy of the U.S. government now. Uh, but uh, what else can you say? Just keep an eye on it. TLT 147.10. Got down to 146.76. Uh, 146.50 is kind of a line in the sand, uh, but just the way we came off uh, the highs out there is not good. That does look like one big last drive to the top, uh, in my opinion. Um, okay. And I kind of like my version better, naked people running on the beach. You can, you can tell who doesn't have swimming trunks on when the tide goes out. That was uh, his thing. But, uh, yeah. Naked people. That's what I remember. Okay. Uh, well, what else do we have? Let's take a quick look at the TLT. Time to give me a call. 877-927-6648. I had a question earlier in the uh, den earlier this week. And every time I went to answer it, uh, the gentleman that asked it was not there. So I see that he is there now. And he wanted to know about the possibility of EMP problems uh, with the computers. Uh, the U.S. government, uh, after finding out that uh, it uh, fired off a nuke and it ended up blowing up uh, the electrical grid uh, in Hawaii and parts elsewhere, um, started doing a lot of research. They actually built a bridge uh, over a giant cavern or not a, ca a chasm, chasm, cavern, what is it, uh, the, uh, anyway. there's a giant ditch, they made a big kind of runway across it, put a B-52 on it, you can find pictures of it on the internet, they did a huge amount of EMP work there on whether or not you could blow a uh, B-52 out of the air just by coming close, not hurting the frame, but actually frying the electronics. Uh, what they have found out is whether or not you're building one uh, that uses conventional munitions or you're using a uh, the EMP of a big uh, uh, nuclear explosion, uh, that it's all about the length of the wire attached to it. If you've got something that's, uh, let's say, like the aerial six inches long, probably not a problem. you got something three, uh, three feet or longer attached to whatever electrical device you have, that is a giant antenna for getting EMP in it. Uh, if you got real close, uh, the best idea is just to keep your valuable backups in a uh, metal uh, ammo can that seals and make sure that you uh, get a little grounding strap for the top to the bottom. Uh, some people use uh, aluminum foil, but you can find all kinds of plans people have on the Internet for doing that. But... Uh, uh, you just need to make a little Faraday cage to keep your uh, valuables in. But, uh, yeah, is it a big deal? It is. Anything with a three-foot-long uh, power cable is problematic. Uh, laptops probably, unless they get hit, probably going to hit by the nuke more than that. Uh, probably okay. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we come back, uh, we'll continue to take a look what's going on. And uh, as we look into next week, I um, was uh, thinking there was a few earnings, but not much. You got advanced auto parts on Monday night along with Casper Sleep. Uh, Casper Sleep may give us an indication of uh, housing sales. Always a good proxy. We get into Tuesday morning and we've got walmart home depot as i like to call it the homeless despot um net lease yeah that's kind of it for tuesday morning um tuesday night lazy boy another kind of proxy for housing sales uh, to, to wednesday target baidu lowe's TJ Maxx, so you got a little bit Wednesday morning, might be enough to move the market. Um, very interesting how these companies now report when a lot of the stuff uh, that they uh, needed for October did never make it to them. So we'll see whether or not they, uh, they report lower sales. Uh, but all those companies have problems with uh, shipping and supply chain issues because almost all that stuff comes from China that they do sell. After the bell on Wednesday night, uh, we've got some big rock and rollers. Uh, NVIDIA, um, I just wrote about it in the Tech Insider today. Hard to think of a better presentation. Um, I actually said that kind of vaguely remain, uh, reminded me of uh, Steve Jobs' big presentations of a, a grand view of a long-term uh, move, uh, not, so, not so much a move, a long-term um, strategy going forward. Uh, very exciting stuff in that. Uh, we've got Cisco on Wednesday night, uh, Sonos, uh, Kulik and Safa for uh, semis, although they're not as big as they once were. Thursday, uh, we look at Alibaba. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see how well some of these Chinese companies do. Uh, also, JDCom, another Chinese company, Macy's, another one that uh, had problems uh, with shipping stuff along with Kohl's. 
Canadian Solar, that'll be interesting. Uh, okay, that's it for Thursday of next week morning. After the bell on Thursday night, we've got AMAT, uh, Workday, Intuit, uh, Palo Alto Networks, Williams Sonoma, uh, Rost, uh, and Farfetched. Yeah, got a few of them. Okay. <laughs> The company behind the global chip shortage has been identified. Who is that? Uh, okay, that's interesting. I don't know if it's true, but it's interesting. Okay, uh, let's get back to it. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the usual suspects uh as we said going into next week in earnings applied materials up a little bit on light volume um yeah i mean you don't have you really don't like this light volume on a friday uh let's take a quick amd amd still uh the most short one of the most shorted stocks. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows anything about this company, uh, but it is Avalon Bay Communities. Uh, but this is the most heavily shorted stock uh, yesterday. And I mean, a ton of people went short this thing. I saw that they were buying another company. So maybe that's part of the hedge. But uh, if anybody knows anybody uh, knows anything about this company, why don't you call in today, 877-927-6648. Uh, but, uh, may I, you know, just on a volume basis, 147,000 shares and almost 800,000 shares, certainly not a lot of volume back up these highs. I suspect that they are them buying out yet another big uh, communities uh, uh, company. I think they're worried about them buying it at the high. I don't know. Just a thought. I don't know enough about them. But when you get somebody to go 45% short in a day in a company that's normally um, is good to have 10% short sellers throughout a day, yeah, there's something going on with that one. Uh, other things going on as we take a look. Uh, a uh, question about Beam Therapeutics. They had a uh, good, uh, uh, some good news spiked on it, uh, back up over 100, and it kind of started giving it all back up. They've got a trial going on, but I think that trial is going to take six months. So maybe that is it. No one wants to hang around. Take a look at the SMHs today quickly. Um, again, this is the kind of pattern I start looking for, and that is a move down below and a close below. He came close, a couple days above, and then the next move down below. It's not an ideal one, but that's kind of very close to what we're looking for out here. So why you can't say pull the trigger yet on the SMHs, uh, any close below something like about, uh, I don't know, 296, 297 next week would set up some real worries in a market. Uh, Apple uh, is going to have to um, let other payment systems in. The judge ruled against them this week. Uh, they're up a little bit today, but not a lot of juice. Again, I think a lot of people are going to give them the benefit of the doubt for a while, but that's not much. Uh, what else? Uh, Juniper Networks, do they still matter? Um, I think they matter, uh, but not to the broad market. Uh, I mean, it's a nice company to trade and make money on it. They had a decent breakout at 30 bucks. They made it up to 32.58, but uh, I don't know. Whole market just looks weird. Looks weird. Okay, we're up 20 point, uh, 28 points on the S&P cash. Dow uh, up 149, NASDAQ up 135. Russell basically flat on the day. Crude oil down a buck 34. 
I think we're finally starting to, there were a lot of uh, rigs that were sitting idle uh, because of the price of crude. And of course, uh, the government decided that uh, they want gas at eight bucks a gallon. So they continue to try to move things around. Well, those, a lot of those uh, wells that they couldn't make money on are coming back online. We saw that in the Baker Hughes numbers today. I think we're kind of getting to the area where it's going to be a little tough to get through this area. I do think that uh, continued uh, just out and out uh, trying to destroy the uh, fossil fuel industry here in the United States. The crude oil do go to 100 bucks before it uh, goes to the uh, I think right now you're kind of running into first resistance. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And come back. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I termed it wrong. I'm only looking at the short term. But I don't think 100 to 150 points in the S&P is the end of the world. But the uh, question is, uh, you only saw small corrections likely in June, July, August time frame here in November. See a larger cor uh, correction. Please reshare uh, key reasons for this outlook. Uh, well, the first one would be consumer confidence, but it added it down since the uh, end of the summer. 
Uh, secondly, we all saw the uh, response to throwing huge amounts of cash and checks into the market. We're going to get just the opposite of that. Uh, we're going to get uh, huge amounts of cash coming out of the market uh, and into heating bills shortly. Uh, not only that, but literally everything that uh, we touch has to be shipped or moved at one point or another for physical goods. And, you know, it's not just inflation. Inflation is kind of an easy word. It's literally going to suck uh, disposable income out of the market over the next three or four months. And it's going to be rather large. Uh, I don't think Powell has any reason to not uh, to start to raise to kill the inflation. Uh, he knows he's not going to be the next Fed president. I don't think any reasonable person would think that. Uh, so he has no reason not to continue to cut. I mean, uh, yeah, to, to uh, taper. So I think there's a little bit of that, and everybody kind of knows that he probably would want to be remembered more like Volcker uh, than uh, Yellen. Um, and, and a handful of other things like that. But, uh, you know, right now, just the uh, that gold is running, uh, that TLT is giving me the shivers uh, with every newspaper I deliver. Bad news on the doorstep. I couldn't take one more step. Anyway, the day the market died, maybe? I don't know. But uh, I'm just getting an overall sense of light volume into the uh, bounces, uh, the inability really even yesterday to bounce much, if at all, today. Uh, the volume was poor. Uh, also, uh, other things I've talked about in my newsletter. We couldn't get anybody to short the last two days. Very, very low uh, put buying. Uh, generally, that means one. Uh, it means a couple of things. One, uh, the risk reward to the downside opens up because there aren't people that naturally buy on the way down. Uh, two, the upside ends, ends up being somewhat muted because you can't run as many shorts as you thought you could. I've seen uh, many uh, kind of uh, ideas in that are kind of percolating today around stocks that uh, took off to the top that are going to have no volume. And if they roll over before the end of the day, could be a fairly big signal. So I think that signal either comes late today or in Monday. But uh, we get back down to, I want to say, 4650-ish on the S&P cash. I think that opens the door. I'm not exactly sure what next week happens, but I think a lot of those retailers are going to report some fairly bad numbers. Again, you got tons and tons and tons of stuff that was uh, supposed to be sold for Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, Halloween. Um, you couldn't find anything. Uh, other products, uh, couldn't find it. You know, if they're down 5% or something, is it really the end of the world? No, but I have a feeling a lot of people are going to look at it that way in the market. Uh, if you see Walmart and Target head south, um, you know, they still have a problem getting stuff in for Christmas, and it's almost Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know if the government still fails to, to uh, jump in and get that stuff off the docks. So I don't know, maybe just a perfect storm of everything, uh, just the complete... Uh, uh, ignoring of all the things that have happened eventually they all pile up to the last blade of grass you throw on the camel but uh, you know I, it, it doesn't matter what you or what I'm looking at um, you know the option market makers are all kind of looking at their toes so they're not thinking that the market goes uh, very much higher they are all on the side that maybe it goes a little higher, but much more likely goes significantly lower. Okay, other things going on. That's kind of just in the next few months. Um, but we shall see. We get something like the uh, S&P closing like 10 points higher. I think that tells you a great deal today, or maybe even 15. If you get half of it, if you give half of the pop today back by the close, that's telling you something, especially if we get into next week. Now, I wouldn't be short the NASDAQ because those guys, again, uh, are a lot better off than Target and Walmart. Uh, as I've said before, if it flies, you can buy it. 
Uh, if it travels on container ships, that's a real problem. So you're going to have a tale of two cities going forward. So I'd be much more uh, bearish on the traditional S&P stocks and anything up on extremely light volume today. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay. 877-927-6648. We answered that question. We answered that question. Okay, and some of the other stuff. Uh, Ron asks uh, AMZN if you see anything else. Uh, still below the 3x3. Three three. Uh, another company where I've got a bunch of stuff ordered. And you know what? I'm glad that I bought all my Christmas presents back at the 1st of October. That's all I got to say, because I've got a bunch of stuff that I was going to get uh, in addition to that stuff and ship out for Christmas. And I'm looking at, uh, I just got uh, updates from Amazon, delivery date, somewhere between the 5th of December and the 28th. So I don't know what that means, other than I think it means that there's a container and whatever I want in that container. And they're not exactly sure when that container is going to be released out of Long Beach. But that's just an idea. Anyway, I, it's hard for me to believe uh, that Amazon holds up if Target and uh, Walmart this week whiff. So we want to keep a, uh, an eye on that. Uh, to, to, uh, some of the other things, AMD has been heavily shorted. Uh, it's just up a buck today. Um, this is the most heavily shorted uh, tech stock. And that it's up on light volume makes me think that maybe... Uh, the uh, buy the dips on this thing is maybe uh, maybe wrong for just a little while, but uh, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, t -t 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 what else do we have here? Uh, t -t -t okay. Question on Twitter: Do you still see this arguing back to forty? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I don't see any reason to be long any of these stocks we talked about. Metamucil uh, used to be fascist book, fascist book. 149.12 uh, is the uh, support level on May 13th from Twitter. Got to go test that. Uh, I don't know if it holds up. There are a ton of companies now uh, getting into Twitter's business. And what they told us was going to be their big claim uh, has been taken by another company. Yes, that is a good company. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, a uh, question about who I'm talking about. Substack is a uh, place for uh, people that want to uh, write newsletters. And probably the most famous guy is uh, Glenn Greenwald, who's the uh, guy that uh, broke the uh, Snowden story and some of that stuff. But, uh, you know, you've got a lot of folks out here treating the FBI even this week, as its own personal uh, secret police going after reporters it didn't like. So, um, you know, if you're somebody like that, you probably don't want the government being able to lean on somebody and get rid of your livelihood. Uh, so uh, we're finding more of these uh, companies like Substack, uh, others that are going to fill the uh, void of uh, Twitter. Um and I think Twitter probably, eh, maybe in a year or two years, uh, we'll probably won't be talking about it anymore. Everybody will go to these other platforms because there is free speech on them and not, uh, I don't know what it is right there, but it's certainly not free speech on Twitter anymore. Um, anyway, we got that. Uh, question about Airbnb. Uh, I think that uh, especially... Uh, this year probably will do extremely well if we're just talking about Florida. Uh, we had uh, the uh, Canadians kept out uh, and uh, foreign uh, Europeans, everybody else really kind of kept out of Florida last year. Still had a very good year uh, from people inside the country. Uh, but uh, I've got what I call aluminum overcast down here in, in uh, Tampa right now. And that's all the people since they opened up the uh, borders on Monday. Uh, there's a ton, a uh, ton, 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 a metric ton of Canadians that have uh, mobile homes down here. There's entire mobile home parks with just Canadians or, or that are like 80% Canadians. And they want to come down here for the winter. And uh, like I said, it's aluminum overcast. It's one... Boeing or Airbus plane after another now uh, coming down here because they wanted to get down here before they were uh, trapped back in Canada once again for the uh, for the uh, winter. Uh, but uh, I think that will be good. There will be a lot of people, especially uh, now that Europe's opened up. Um, I hear that uh, Orlando is incredibly packed. Uh, but those people are going to need places to stay. They're probably going to stay longer because they missed last year. Didn't get to go anywhere. My guess is they will spend a little bit more time. So Airbnb makes more sense if you're just coming for a couple of days. Maybe not so much. But if you're coming down for two weeks, pretty good. Uh, and there are a lot of people that bought property this over this last year to put on Airbnb. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think, it's, uh, I think it's good. I think you're going to go back and test uh, 214. If the markets turn down a little bit, I think you'll also find people that uh, are hard on cash will turn to renting their summer, or not their summer, the winter Florida homes. 
uh, out to D- Airbnb also. So I think this was a company that can do well, uh, whether the economy does well or not. But, uh, yeah, I think this goes back up to uh, 215 and maybe even higher over the winter. Um, I know there are more than just the United States, but I have a feeling this is going to do incredibly well. As everybody wants to come to the free state of Florida, maybe one of the last free states in the union, even though we have to do battle with the uh, with the feds on a daily basis, our governor is going to keep this gov- uh, keep this state open and running. Uh, to, to, to what else do we have? Oh, had another one out here. To, 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 to. Okay, STX. Um, Question of whether to short uh, Seagate, Western Digital, didn't do as well on earn- its earnings cycle. Let's take a real quick, uh, quick look at that. Uh, it's bouncing a bit. Um, I take it you're looking at the same thing. Uh, it's very tough to short these right now. Um, I'm still waiting for memory to become cheaper than hard drive space, and it just is tough, but... This is a very ugly candle in Seagate today. I'm, like I said, I'm going to think we're going to find a bunch of these by the uh, when I run my scans this weekend. But uh, no, you know, I think that if you're going to short something, I will most likely think that you'd want to short something on the S&P side, and maybe not so much on the uh, tech side. Uh, I think this could still probably do better than the S&P stocks overall uh people are going to continue to make data it doesn't stop um you know the big problem these guys have is any kind of margin they're all trying to sell to the same three or four customers now with big hard drives and it's just tough to do it uh but uh, i don't see anything that says anything other than uh i would want a short western digital first over seagate uh, it looks much, uh, much more of the weaker sister. Uh, and on that one, uh, to, 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 to see what we have for a retracement on it. Um, on this one, I'd probably want 67-ish on this. I know that we might not get it, but uh, that's where the risk-reward is probably going to come in on this. And again, I'd probably want to be uh, short a more bricks and mortar more uh, uh, anybody that has problem with the supply chain, uh, even though these are kind of heavy and a little big, you can still throw these uh, a lot of these on a 747 and get them over here. So it's the companies that can't afford to ship stuff other than uh, by sea or by train. Uh, they're going to have real problems, I think, over the next three four months. So I would look at that first, but. 67 bucks could be the short on Western Digital. And, of course, these companies, I don't know if it's two years or five years, but uh, probably both of them are out of business. Uh, da, 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 okay. Okay. Da, da, da. Uh. Got a few more emails out here. Okay. Uh, okay, a couple more emails. Let's see how much time I got. I got a minute left. Okay. Question on Tesla. I was looking for a bigger bounce, and you know what? You're just underneath it. I think you're still going to get back up there. Uh, I think we still talked about 1175-ish as where you'd want to pull the ripcord on this on a short. I think you get a little bit of a bounce out of here, and you that's where you want to short it. You really haven't gotten that bounce yet. I mean, you got kind of like a one-day thing. I think you're going to have one more. They're going to try to squeeze the shorts out. And when it gets up there, I think you're going to see some kind of candle like we saw in, uh, in uh, Seagate. You're going to see one of these things where it gives back half or more of the thing in the day, and that's going to be the signal. Uh, look for these big kind of uh, bust away uh, candles where most of it's given back in the day.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Got a question on Tomiko. As we wrap up the show today, uh, it blew through a previous high, did so on lighter volume. Uh, you had 28 million shares on the 26.57 high. That was back on September 13th. Um, you had about 8 million shares on, yeah, on uh, November 8th. Uh, so you're probably going to pull back here a little bit. Uh, what I would say is really good support comes in at 2319 to 2347. Uh, that is exactly, if you're reading Tom's book or want to look at confluence levels, those are two Fibonacci levels put together. Uh, they work incredibly well. In fact, I use them probably pretty exclusively compared to I individual Fibonacci levels uh, just because they uh, seem to work so much better. Uh, uh, one Fibonacci level works great. Two together have to be better, don't they? Anyway, I think they are. Uh, 2319 to 2347, when they're very narrow like that, and over a number of trading days, like these uh, both legs have a few weeks, uh, maybe three weeks in them, uh, that is a very nice pattern. And 2319 to 2347 is where I'd be looking at this uh, if it comes back. Uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on in the market, but, uh, you know, Come uh, Sunday night, you see that TLT. Well, it doesn't really trade. You see bonds under uh, uh, under threat. I think you're probably going to see the market roll with it. Um, 
you know, 147.09, hadn't broken the 146.50, which has kind of been the line in the sand between good and bad in the markets. Uh, but you break 146.50 uh, on Monday or Tuesday or something, I think we're going down to 139. Um, we ran back up to the highs, gave it up almost instantly with one big, huge candle. Got to be watching that. Got to be watching a few other things. But, uh, gold is telling you something. And now we're starting to get it into some other things. So keep an eye out. Uh, See you Monday. Same bat channel. Same bat channel.